Hey folks, Philly boy Jay here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make oxtail stew. This is a recipe that my step-grandfather used to always make during the autumn and winter months for Sunday dinner, and my late grandmother used to really enjoy this recipe. It makes me think about it every time I make this. An oxtail stew is versatile, just like any other stew. And what I mean by versatile was that there's so many variations to it. So many different ways you can make chicken stew, beef stew, or oxtail stew. So what we're going to do is we're going to soak our oxtails in some salt water solution. You guys know I always clean my meat before cooking. So we're going to soak our oxtails in some salt water solution and let them sit in the salt water solution until they defrost. And then we're going to rinse them off and remove any residue that may be on them. Okay, so to this bowl, we're going to add about a tablespoon of salt, along with some cool water. And we're going to sit our oxtails in this water so they defrost. Okay. And while they're soaking, we're going to move on. And talk about the other ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe. Okay, guys, so the seasonings that you're going to need are garlic powder, onion powder, parsley flakes, black pepper. We're going to be using some sugar just to um, balance out the acidity from the spaghetti sauce. And you're going to need some seasoning salt, okay? If you don't have seasoning salt, you can use uh, regular salt. Make sure you have some mixed vegetables. A medium sized onion. Some egg noodles. Some chicken broth and some tomato sauce. Those are all the ingredients that you're going to need. All right, guys. So what you want to do is basically just scrub your oxtails. You don't really want to remove any of the fat from your oxtails because that's what gives the oxtails their flavor. But any dangling fat, you do want to remove that. Any excess dangling fat that may be on it, like this. Stuff like that, you do want to remove. Okay, so give it a nice rinse and a nice scrub. Remove any unappealing excess fat. And then set them aside, all right? So, you're gonna get a pot. This is the pot that we're going to be cooking our oxtails in, and you're going to place it over medium high heat. If you have dialers, um, on your stove like I do place it on about a seven okay so I'm gonna let this preheat and get hot this oil here and the reason why I forgot to mention oil as an ingredient in the beginning is because I use such a small amount so yeah when making this recipe make sure that you don't forget to get a small amount of oil, okay. All right, guys, our oil is hot, so we're going to now add our oxtail.
And I'm not going to wait to add the seasonings. The pepper, the garlic powder, the onion powder, seasoning salt, and parsley flakes. Um, off camera, I stirred them all together. So, I'm going to add seasoning now. Um, by the way, for the full recipe, visit my website at phillyjcooking.com. All the measurements can be found there. And you're going to brown this for about, I'll say eight to ten minutes, maybe. Really depends on what kind of pot you're using. Okay guys, so now that we browned our oxtails, what you're gonna do is reduce your heat to medium heat. After reducing the heat to medium heat, you're going to follow that up by adding your broth. And after adding your broth, you're going to add your water. All right, guys. So what we're going to do now is we're going to allow our oxtails to cook and simmer in this seasoned liquid here. We have our broth our water and our seasonings so this liquid that it's simmering in is going to provide a lot of flavor okay and then once this simmers all the way down we're going to add the other ingredients but we want to make sure that our oxtails are nice and tender that's the point and this can take usually anywhere from three and a half to four hours okay so you're going to cover it with a lid but make sure that there's a crack on the side so that it don't overflow like that there leave a crack on the side and just let it go all right okay guys so i'm slicing up our onion and I don't add them too early in the cooking process because I don't want them to completely disintegrate. So I add them like halfway through, maybe at like the two hour mark. And you don't have to dice them into really small pieces because they're going to shrink a bit once you put them in the pot anyway. All right, so just chop them up like this. We're going to add the onions now. I guess I like to add the onions halfway through. We're going to cover it with the lid, leaving the crack on the side like we did before. And we're going to let this continue cooking. All right. But yeah, I always add the onions like halfway through. Smelling awesome. Amazing. Sometimes what I do is I'll boil you my egg noodles separately, but my step grandfather used to always add it to this liquid here. I guess to give 
the noodles some sort of flavor or something. I don't know. But I'm going to add them like he did. And it may seem like there's not enough liquid in here, but just fold it in and trust me, it will cook the noodles. But once you add your noodles, you're going to also change the heat temperature. You're going to reduce it to low or maybe low medium. But I'll put it on like a three so that the rest of this liquid don't cook down before the noodles get tender. And we're going to add our mixed vegetables now. You're going to then add your sauce. We're going to add our sugar. And then we're going to fold this all in. Okay, that's pretty much our oxtail stew. Make sure the sauce is all in there. And I only used about a bottle and a half. These are 24 ounce jars. But that's pretty much it. I'm going to get ready to serve this now. And look at my football. This recipe is really, really good. I love it. Hey guys, it's PBJ, and for more of my delicious and easy to make recipes, visit my website at phillyjcooking.com. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all my latest videos, and come join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.